Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Athelstan, or King Athelstan, on the Total War Center forums. And today I'm going to walk you through how to download and play the DCI Last Alliance mod for Third Age Total War for Medieval 2 Total War. And so, before you start, uh, you need a valid and proper installation of both Medieval 2 Total War with the Kingdoms expansion and Third Age Total War. And downloading this will overwrite a part of the files in the Third Age Total War, leaving you unable to play it. And so if you want a vanilla game that works and that you can download other mods onto, I highly recommend making a copy of it before you start. And so there's two ways of going about playing and downloading this. There's a installer that's included and a manual way of downloading it. And I'm going to show you both ways and timestamping them in the description, so do check it out and or just look at both methods and see which one you prefer. And towards the end of the video, which I'll also timestamp, I'll leave a very helpful tip on sorting, categorizing and organizing your mods so that you actually know which mods what and making them a lot easier to use really. So do look out for that as well. And without further ado, let's get cracking, eh? And so we're going to go ahead and start with using the installer, so we'll just press it and then wait for it to run, which could take some time. Though my computer might be acting up a bit, so that shouldn't be a problem. Is this where I'm just this to open it in your... there we go. And it needs administrative permission, so you can just go ahead and allow that. And there you go, part one of two. The installation requirements needs Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms and Third Age Total War 3.2 installed properly. And so you click next, you agree with the license agreement, because of course you do. And then you double check that the installer has automatically found the correct Medieval 2 Total War installation of you in the correct hard drive and the, uh, that it ends with Medieval 2 Total War. This is probably the most important bit that a lot of people get it wrong. You need to have it end in Medieval 2 Total War, not slash Third Age or something. Because then it will be installed incorrectly and it won't work at all. So you make sure that it's that. You hit Next. And you hit Start. And you wait for it to finish, which can take a little while, but it shouldn't take too long. And I'll be back with you once we've finished with Part 1. And here we are, right on the finish line. If you're at the 90 something percent and you can see that it's not responding, it looks like it's frozen. It's not, it's just working twice as hard. So just leave it be and it'll sort itself out here without any hassle. Just wait a bit and there we go. It's continuing to go. It's probably going to do this for one or, so, or twice more, but that shouldn't be a problem. Just leave it to work. The last percentages are always the longest. And there we go. And as soon as the installer finished, a cleaner was run to clean out any unnecessary files and make room for the ones that need to be generated at game launch. So you can just close that out and you click next and you exit. And then, boom, you're done. You have the mods installed, so you can either launch it through the desktop shortcut that will be created down here for me, and you can just double click it and launch Kingdom EXE, which you of course need installed to run any mod. And we'll do a. And if you by chance uh, launch Medieval 2 or something's not entirely right, if there's an easy fix for that, you go into your .cfg file and you edit it and you can see that there's a discrepancy between the mod here that it launches and the mod folder. So just go ahead and correct that. So we just get third page 3 as it says said there save, exit, and it should be working then, either through the desktop launcher or through the dot .bat. And there you go, you have DCI, the last lines of running. And now I'm going to show the manual version as well, if you prefer that sort of stuff. 
And for the manual download, you have to download the zip file. It's just a single folder. So you open that up. And then you have to find it and drag it from the correct window to the right window. And then you have to extract it and navigate all the way to your mod folder, wherever that may be. So you have to find the folder the Medieval 2 is installed in and where Third Age is installed and working. And let's see, that's the wrong SSD. So we go, there we go, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2 Total War. And this applies for the disk version as well. You just find the Medieval 2 Total War installation mods. And there's quite a few of them here, but we need the one called Third Age 3 underscore. Press OK and yes to all so we're now overwriting a lot of vanilla third age files so this of course means you can't play vanilla third age unless you've made a backup which i strongly recommend that you've done and did mention at the start of this video and you allowed everything to be overwritten and then you just allow it to run its course and i'll be back with you once we've finished extracting all right and once that is done you navigate yourself to your mod folder. It shouldn't take too long unless you've got a billion mods. And so you find the folder, third edge three, open it, and then you run the last lines cleaner that deletes a lot of files that need to be generated at game launch. And you're done. And then you can run the create launcher dot bat in the DCA other files. And that will make the bat files desktop shortcut for you. And you're done. You can either launch it through the bat file or the desktop shortcut. But I'm going to show you a very handy trick that can be used to ca easily categorize an audio mods itself. Which I like to do. And it's very useful when you've got a lot of mods. This isn't exclusive to DCI, but I highly recommend you do it. So first of all, we're going to take our mod folder and rename it to DCI YouTube. And then once we've got that in place, we're going to open the tatford.cfg. And you see it's going from the folder that's called Third Age. We don't have a folder called Third Age, but we do have a folder called DCI LA YouTube going to use that save and for the bat file as well I'm going to edit bat and it's going to start third age three which we don't use instead we're using DCI LA YouTube save and then you've got the DCI LA YouTube and you're free to launch it and it will boot up divide and conquer last lines public beta and congratulations, you've done everything you need to do to download and play this wondrous mod, who it is in beta. And I hope you have a blast playing it. And if you've got any questions and such, leave a comment and I'll try to help you if I can. Peace out.